everyone. Welcome back to the Art to Life podcast. I just came back uh, from a kind of a break from the studio, and I walked in here this morning, and it felt kind of weird, and uh, like I haven't been here forever, and I felt kind of disconnected to what I was making. So I thought I would talk about this because I've heard uh, from a lot of other artists that this happens when you take a break, when you um, are not involved in your art for just the littlest while, it can tend, it tends to kind of um, go off on its own. You feel disconnected from it. Uh, you feel a bit like a stranger in your own studio. So I thought I would talk about this today and, and you know, why it happens and, and how to come back to your art, what I do. And this is just, uh, you know, from my experience and from friends' experiences, uh, because I have struggled with this forever. And now, not so much, because I know what to do to come back into it. So if you've been away, if you're still trying to come back from your vacations, you know, all the distractions of the holidays, um, this might be a great episode for you to check out. Uh, I, what I want to do is I kind of want to break this into two parts. You know, why this happens, I think why it happens, and also then how to uh, course correct, how to fix this, how to work around this. So <clears throat> let me get, just get into this first, um, why this happens. There's kind of three primary reasons, and I thought I'd shoot this in my studio because part of uh, the solution here is just being in the studio, um, how to come back into this. So I thought, well, okay, that's good. I'll come into the studio and shoot this. Um, so I think what the first piece is that we, we go away, and usually for me going away means I'm not doing art, I'm not doing any work, I'm not even thinking about it, I'm just disconnecting completely. And this is, uh, maybe what you'd call a vacation. I don't know. It's just, it's just this period where I'm not doing anything. And, um, and when we stop doing that, um, it, it, we kind of, it's very comfortable to not be making art. And there is something that is present in the studio and there is uh, uncertainty in here, you know, in this place because I'm involved in making something that I'm not entirely confident it's gonna turn out. If I'm actually pushing myself a little bit, um, I'm going into terrain that I don't know about. Um, and that's the whole point. I'm learning something. I'm always learning something. I don't wanna do last year's work. I already know how to do that. That's, there's resistance to that, especially when you're not in, the, in, in doing it every day. When you're making art all the time, uh, you just get kind of really used to this. It's just like all the days run together and you're just making it, making it, making it. It's not a big deal. But when you stop, part of why it feels so good is that there's just, it's just not challenging. You know, your life, your creativity, it's not being pushed. You know, it's just nice to not do anything and just walk around and take things in instead of having to push things out to give out energy. You can just absorb it. So that's the first part of this that, that there's just, there is unknown in this and that is hard. And, and I think it's okay to kind of think about that and pat yourself on the back that that's what you're involved in. If you're making things, um, this is part of it, but it is, it is very different than other things in life. And this is challenging, especially when you haven't been doing that. So, that's the wall that I, that's the big one for me that I hit when I walk in here and I don't know, you know, it's like, I, how, how were those last paintings turning out? And, you know, is it gonna, is it gonna, is it really that much better than it was six weeks ago? And, you know, all the, all the questions, it just feels like I'm kind of disconnected from it. And I don't really entirely remember what I was doing. Um, and it takes some time to drop back into it. So, that's the first one. There's unknown, there's uncertainty in this. The second one is that once you stop, uh, even for a week, the evidence um, of you not doing it, the, I mean, the lack of evidence of your art, 
of, oh, I just made this, I just made this, there's another thing I made there. When you stop, it's incredibly fast, and this is how it is for me, and, and I've talked to a lot of artists about this, that the self-confidence, um, it kind of lessens over time. It, it diminishes rather quickly when you're not making art. It gets, um, I mean, if I stop for a month, I really, I'm really far away from it, and I, and my confidence, and it takes some time for me to kind of get back into this. The reframe on this and, and the kind of cool hint um, that is needed, uh, that, that is positive around this, is that you, all you do, really need to do to kind of get back into this is you just need to do it. You just need to do some aspect of this. You need to play in it. You need to, um, even 20 minutes, naturally refills your tank. It doesn't even have to be related to the problem you're making. Just the act of making something, putting marks on a picture, working in a sketchbook, anything is all that's needed. That you return to the practice, that this is a practice of coming back in and it, the artifact of whatever you're doing, it's not so important that the practice of doing gives you momentum. It gives you confidence. It gives you ideas. I mean, the whole thing works if you're doing something. And, and that's why, you know, that first one about uh, that there's, there's this sort of unknown aspect. There's this uncertainty. It's because there's nothing around that you recently made. There's a time lapse. And, and I've noticed when, when I am away for a while that, um, and this is another sort of cool hint reframe that we think it's like, oh, I just need a break. But it doesn't take long for me. I mean, just a couple days. I was away for about a week. And on the third day, I found myself doodling, which led to giving me some ideas. And I, I was just like naturally back into it. I think we want to be in this art making mode. I know I do. I prefer this way of being. As soon as I get a little break from it, um, I am back into it. I just naturally want to go back into it. It's exciting. It's like a more edgier way of existing. You know, it's a, a certain uh, approach to living that comes from a little bit of facing this risk, facing this uncertainty. So that first one, you know, that, that there's uncertainty in here holds us back. The second one is that when you stop, you don't have recent evidence. And the cool reframe around that is you need to just do it a little bit, just to need to do something. And then I think the other third piece of this is why we stop. When, when we've stopped, why it's hard to kind of come back in is that we have time to look <laughs> at what everyone else is doing, that, that, um, that there's a comparison that goes on. I, I went to some museums uh, over the break, which was so inspiring, so great. But it also, it also made me feel like I was just not progressing uh, because it's all this incredible work and it feels like all those people are successful or you know, scrolling on Instagram. You know, it's like everyone's doing it, everyone's posting, everyone's, you know, and you can easily, uh, if you're not focused on what you're doing and you let that drift to the side a little, you start overly focusing on what everyone else is doing. And for me, at least, I, that's, that's, uh, that's sort of a, a, a real dangerous cul-de-sac. Um, I need the fire of what I'm making. I need to be engaged in what I'm doing. And I, that kind of takes a lot of my time. And then, of course, we want to look at what people are doing. It's inspiring. It's really great. Of course, of course. Um, but it is something that uh, we, ha we have to be careful of. So I think those... Uh, those breaks, and we need the breaks, by the way, we need to stop, but the, the challenge is, uh, the challenge of coming back in uh, is, is something that uh, can, can extend for too long of a time. I've had it where in the past I've 
try to get back into it. And it can last for a week. It can last for 10 days. It can last for a couple weeks where it's just not going well. I'm not really enjoying myself, you know? So, so this is important, you know, how to understand what happens to us as creative, as makers, when we stop, even for a brief period of time. So I want to talk a bit about now, um, you know, uh, how we can drop back in, you know, how, how do we do it? And look, there's a million ways, but I have several that I use. And the first one is that, uh, well, I'm doing it right now. I involve myself in any aspect uh, that's close to this. I don't have to be actually doing this for the benefit to rub off if there's something I'm doing that's connected to it. I'm kind of doing a double duty thing here where I'm talking about this kind of uncomfortable feeling I'm having um, in my studio. I, I wanted to do this just to like be with this work and be in this space again and feel comfortable. Anything can, can work uh, to kind of bring you, all you have to do is get close to it. So for example, I can paint the edge of this painting. I can, well, I, I've already actually done it. I can rearrange uh, those paints over there and fill the bottles up that um, was already done. <laughs> uh, the easy low hanging fruit stuff where you don't have to think, you know, it's like, oh, I need to get, even going and getting new supplies, like that's a really good one, kind of cleaning up, organizing, um, but certainly talking about what you're doing and, and looking at it and having a conversation and having someone come over and share what, what you're making anything will work. Um, and so you just, you just need to do the easy thing. Involve, your, involve yourself in something that's close to it. And the second thing uh, here is to return to that question. Uh, it's such an important question and you want to revisit it all the time. It's the fundamental underlying question that I use in all my coaching, in all my programs, but mostly on me. And that that question is what brings me alive? What is it that, that lights me up when, when I'm thinking about making art, when I look at the thing that I'm making, um, I, I connect back to where is the energy? Because that's, even if you can't articulate it, that's such a good question because you can just feel the energy. You don't even have to know why. That's what I love. You can just, you can just sense it. Some areas, some, some of your work you like more than others. Some is really uh, connects to you better. You can just feel the uptick in energy and liking something is the same thing. You know, it's just, ooh, that's cool. That one area. Um, I'm looking at this work. I come in right now, for example, and <clears throat> I'm thinking about what I want, right? Like I can, I can look at this and connect with what brings me alive. And I can think about if, what do I want? What does is, what is the future want to feel like? What's, made, what's possible? What can happen for me? What would I love to happen for me in the relationship to the work? So for me, uh, I have been thinking about this and what I am wanting is work that uh, feels really direct, not fussy, uh, that is fast in a way that isn't reliant on tons and tons of work and going over it and going over it. You know, that thing of like, I've done like 10 paintings and, uh, you know, I've, there's one at the end, but there's like 10 really good ones. I feel like there's a lot that I can do in my work um, and I can stop earlier, right? Um, how much do I have to give in order to get the desired result? And I, so for me, it's what can I take away? How, do I have to give so much in terms of surfaces and color in order to get the results I want? Um, so, you know, what I want is work that feels like me, um, but am I changing enough? Is that possible for me? Where is the energy? And so it's like these, that question is so good because it brings all the information, it brings all the direction back to yourself. And that makes it um, 
controllable and uh, it's derived from you, which it should be. Spending some time with that question, it do, you do not have to be actually doing anything. Just go into the studio, go into the space or anywhere actually and, and contemplate that and think about it and take notes. Thinking about things that bring you energy, when I describe kind of loosely what I'm after in the work, it, I get more excited because it's, it's true. It's what I want. It's the most important thing to me. It's what I want to have happen. So of course it matters to me. And of course that brings my energy level up and it keeps me, it keeps me getting engaged. And then the third piece of this that I really love uh, is just simply planning. How now do I get there? What do I need to happen? Who are the people I need to talk to? Um, what kind of materials will I need? There's so much energy in planning the cool thing, planning the thing that brings you alive, spending time on that. Sometimes, you know, I, I did this big backpack trip with my daughters this past year, last year, actually, and it was so fun planning it, you know, just figuring out where we're gonna go, figuring out I needed to get a new backpack. So that took me down a whole new rabbit hole. And then I went to the store and I had all these great conversations and I saw all these cool things in the store and I got a different tent and you know, all the food we were gonna bring. And it just turned into this really great experience uh, that was a bonus. The trip was amazing, but also the time before the trip and if you're at all intimidated by going on the trip, you know, jumping in again because you've been away, thinking about planning how you can get it there, thinking about where you're going, right? Thinking about where you're going, where you wanna go, based on where you've been, is how you grow. It's a powerful way to be. It's, a, it's an important state to be involved in. That is gonna create more change than just like, okay, I'm just gonna go and try and do this and I'm not really sure. I mean, we, we need that, we need to be able to do that, but just a little bit of time thinking in this, this planning and thinking and reflecting based on your past, where is it that you wanna go? How do I want to grow? So I have noticed, uh, especially lately, that this, I love planning. I love the whole thing. I like planning courses. I like planning workshops. I like, I like trying to imagine something and then make it. And I can't always get it perfect, but you can do a lot with that. And <clears throat> That planning energy is, it's, you're not really creating, they're, they're kind of different. There's planning, which is maybe more frontal cortex, more you know, using your analytical brain. Um, but then there's also creating the actual making when I'm just gonna go in on this work and I'll be just in a creation mode. Those two modes of being, that planning mode and that creation mode, they're very, very different and <clears throat> I think they complement each other very well. The framework, the structure for creating is be benefits from this planning. And the planning would be nothing without the creating. So I think that's a really powerful way to think about, uh, you know, that, that it's not just about coming to the studio and making something, that you can spend some time planning thinking, um, you know, where do I want to go? What lights me up here? A little bit of that mixed in with going at it uh, will get you tremendous results and make a huge difference in coming back in to the studio, as well as the results of what you're making. You know, we, we're looking to progress, you know, we're looking to not get hung up and stuck. Coming back and hitting resistance, 
um, is super, super common. So just know that. But what's, and you're gonna have it every single time. I still have that, I get it all the time. But knowing how to just work through it really quick can make a giant difference in your work. So anyway, you guys, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you are coming back into the studio, I hope that it's going really, really well. And uh, for those of you like me who are taking a little longer to get back into it, I hope this was helpful. I have a log that comes out every Sunday. We have tons of people that are uh, that come along and participate, are leaving comments. It's an awesome, it's an awesome community. If you're interested, this is free. Uh, you can sign up for it if you go to artlifeplay.com. Uh, that would be so cool. So you guys, thanks for being here, and I will see you next week on the Art to Life podcast. Okay, bye.